Let's talk about why broken links matter so much. A broken link is any hyperlink that leads to a dead end, usually a 404 error. And I'm sure you've seen them, but they look like this. For SEO, broken links signal to Google that your site isn't maintained. That can hurt your rankings or make it harder for your pages to even show up in search. For user experience, when visitors hit dead links, they lose trust. About 60% will bounce, which means leave immediately. And 88% won't return after a bad experience. For conversions, so sales on your site, every broken link is a missed opportunity. A customer ready to buy, sign up, or contact you, who hits a dead end instead. So how do these broken links happen? Well, it can be you delete or rename a page, but forget to update old links, or you link to an external site but they move or delete their content. It might be as simple as you make a typo in a link without realizing it. And it can also happen if you migrate your site or change domains and not all the links update correctly. On WordPress, this can get out of hand fast, especially if your site has been around for a few years. But the good news is it's fixable. And now we're gonna fix it. Okay, so we're on my demo site and the first thing we're gonna do is install the all-in-one SEO broken link checker plugin. But before we do that, I'll just show you that I have actually deactivated all-in-one SEO on my site right here. Just to show you, you don't actually need all-in-one SEO to install and use this broken link checker plugin. Okay, so let's go back to the dashboard. And then to install the plugin, we're just gonna come down to plugins here, hover over that and then click on add plugin. And then we're gonna come over to the search bar and just type in broken link checker. And once we do that, we can see that the broken link checker by all-in-one SEO is right here. Just need to click the install now button and then the activate button once it's installed. And now we've got the broken link checker installed on this site. You'll see it right here in the plugins list. You also see you get a notice up here to say that our site currently isn't connected with the broken link checker. We need to make that connection to start scanning for broken links and fixing them. So we'll just click on the connect now link right here. And that's brought us to the broken link checker screen. And we're underneath the settings tab right here. And the first thing we need to do, as you can see in the license key here, is to create a free account or connect to an existing account. So if you already have all in one SEO, you can connect to the account that you're using for that. And by connecting this account, we're going to get access to our 200 free links so that we can use broken link checker on this site. So either create a free account or connect to an existing account. I'm gonna to connect to an existing account and then we'll jump forward once that's all connected up. Okay, so now we've got that step out of the way. The account is connected and I have a quota of 200 links for free to use with this site. And if you've got a huge site and you need more links than that, well then you can upgrade to the pro version of this plugin and you get more links with that. Just below this option right here, we're just going over these couple of settings. So link tweaks here, we can do a couple of things. We can stop search engines from following broken links by activating this toggle right here. And we can also enable the option for the modified date for a post or page when a link is updated to not be updated. And then below that, this is a really cool addition. We can actually enable a feature where we can highlight our broken links on the front end of our site when we're logged in. What that will do is it'll add a little red line like this below any links that are broken on the site. Only we can see it because we're logged in, but I think that's a really cool feature. Definitely check it out and give it a go on your site. So once you're happy with all these settings, just make sure you click the Save Changes button, and then we can click on the Broken Links tab, and that has now brought us to the Broken Link Checker screen. So this is where we see all the links for our site that have been scanned by the broken link checker. And we can then start investigating what's going on with these links and then fix them. Now, if this is the first time that you've seen a screen like this, don't get overwhelmed, it's super simple. And I'm just gonna give you a brief overview. So at the top here below the broken links tab, we've got some filter options for all the links. So we've got all broken redirects, not checked and dismissed. At the moment, because we've just started up with the broken link checker, all the statuses of the links are, this link still needs to be checked. Now this status will update in time and it will either show that the link is completely fine or the link is broken. 
And in some cases, just like this one right here, where it's an external link, it's going to tell you that you need to upgrade to Pro to unlock support for external links. But based on this status right here, you'll then be able to filter this screen to any of these filters that I just mentioned. Below that, we've got some options here to apply some bulk actions, just like you can across your WordPress dashboard to pages, posts, and so much more. And then in the center of the screen, we have got the list itself. And the list is broken up into three columns and it's super easy. Over here on the left, we've got the actual URLs. So the place that we are linking to. So in this first example, I'm going to a sales page on the site. Then in the center, we've got posts. So this is the content that the link is found in. So for this first one, we've got the title of the post, which is copywriting formulas you can steal. And then we've got the anchor text. So the text that actually the link is actually on is write high converting sales pages. Then, like I mentioned, you then get the status as well. And I really like the broken link checker actually has your quota up here in the green numbers up in the top right. So you can just keep an eye on how many you have left in your actual plan. Now I've just refreshed this screen and you can now see what I meant by the statuses being updated once everything's been completed with the scan and the link checker. And we can see the top item right here, which I was going over before, the status for this is this link is broken. And you can double check that if you want to by clicking on the URL itself. It's gonna open up in a new tab and yep, my site says this page doesn't exist. So this is a 404 page. We can close this tab and we can go back to the link checker screen. So we've checked that ourselves and it is an actual broken link. From this point, there's a few things that we can do. So if we actually hover over the URL or the actual item itself, get a few options underneath the URL here, we can edit the URL. So let's say this URL we noticed is misspelled or we know the new page that this needs to go to. We can edit this really easily from this screen. So if I click on edit URL, we get this option right here where we can see the anchor text and then we can see the URL it's going to and we can easily click within here and then type in the new URL, click update, and then that will fix that. I'm just gonna click the cancel button right here, hover over again. Now let's say we don't actually need this link on the page anymore. So the next thing we can do here is we can unlink this link within the page and clicking on this button will take us through and do that for us. We can also recheck this link if we want to and it will update based on the status of that link. And then finally, if we have this link across multiple pages, so if we look further on down here, we've got a link that's on two posts and another URL that's on 22 posts. And if you have a really large website, you might want to just redirect that link to a page of your choosing. Well, you can do that, and if you click on the add redirect option right here, you're gonna get this pop-up to let you know that this is a premium feature, which is actually housed in within all-in-one SEO itself. And you get the option to purchase the pro version of all-in-one SEO. Now this might not be for you and your site. If you've got a bit of a smaller site or you're quite happy to go through and just edit those URLs by yourself using the broken link checker. But if you've got hundreds and hundreds of pages or posts that a link is broken on, it's definitely worth using redirects on your site for that alone. Now there are also, if you hover over posts as well, you get a couple of other things. You can edit the post and view the post. So if you can go in and view where that link is and change it on the page as well. And if I just scroll down, I'll show you what this looks like on the multiple post option. So we can see that we've got the website URL there and it's on 22 posts across the site. And at the moment, this link is working perfectly, but let's say for instance, and just pretend that this link is broken and it's maybe the site's been migrated. So we've changed the site URL or something's happened there where it's not quite right. We can click on the view 22 posts option right here. And then that's gonna open up each one below that. So we're not even leaving the screen from this. We can see everything all here. 
and we can start editing, fixing right from this screen, which I think is really helpful when you're trying to manage all these broken links and all the links on your site. So I'll just close that. And then finally, at the end here, you'll see there's some little information buttons. You click on that information button, you get this pop up and it will tell you a little bit more about this link and more technical details about it. But it also set tell you that it will be checked again. So every seven days, the links are checked with Broken Link Checker. And this is super helpful for anyone managing their site. Broken links aren't just a technical issue. They're a trust issue. They tell your visitors this site isn't being looked after. But with tools like All-in-One SEO, fixing them doesn't have to be a headache. In under 10 minutes, you can scan your entire site, fix dead links fast, keep your SEO, user experience, and conversions on track. So take 10 minutes today, clean up your site, boost your credibility, and make sure every visitor lands where they're supposed to. If you found this video helpful, like, subscribe, and share this with another WordPress user who could find it useful. I'm Ryan, this is WP Beginner, and I'll see you in the next video.